Hi, this is Tanya from Love Buddha Tarot. Um, back with cards for the weekend, not just the day today. So these are the cards for Saturday the 19th of March and Sunday the 20th of March 2016. Um, the card that I pulled for Saturday, both before I start, both have really, really wonderful energies. So I really do think it's going to be quite a good weekend as well. But the first card that came in, uh, this is for Saturday. So this is the energies for Saturday. This is the Eight of Wands. Or in this deck, it's called the Eight of Rods. In other tarot, it's the Eight of Wands. Um, but I love this card. It is a real card. The energy that comes with it is is like, I don't know, it's, 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 it's really, really fast, you know. So it always talks about that there's movement, you know. Um, the energy is amazing with it, but it's all about things happening, you know, and sometimes like sooner than you think or just something coming completely out of the blue, something just taking you by surprise, you know, um, if we have a look there, if you can see that properly, um, it's like the rods are like hurtling through the air, you know, and they're, they're getting ready to land. So, you know, this is like, I don't know, something you may have started and it's like, whoosh, it's 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 just going to go absolutely like like berserk, really. It's, you know, it's a really, really good card. Um, you know, it, it's pretty much, I always sort of think of a whirlwind when this card comes up as well, you know, because it's like everything just sort of happens all at once, you know, and don't let this scare you because I think sometimes this card, it's because the intensity of it, you know, is is quite, it's it's an intense card. You know, but that's nothing to be scared of. It's like, you know, just, I don't know, hold on tight and, you know, go go along for the ride. So it, it's like I say, it's, it, it's a fab card. And it's telling you as well to strike while the iron is hot. You know, I don't feel if anything comes up uh, on Saturday, you know, um, don't hesitate with it. You know, don't think about something too much. Just actually go with it. You know, um, think on your feet feet and then then act I think you know because I think anything that you are presented with or any opportunity that you, that you get over this weekend um you know especially Saturday it, it's really like like go for it you know that that's what I would be saying don't even think about it just just jump straight in you know very successful and it's always a, a positive card as well you know, but like I say, it is, I, I do feel it's something that's coming out of the blue because of this movement with it, because of this quickness, you know, and because of the energy with it, it it's like I say, it, it could knock you off your feet a little bit, you know, but it's sort of like the universe is presenting you with all of these fantastic opportunities, you know, that's what it's doing. And it just wants you to take the initiative, you know, and then, then go for them as well, you know, so it's, it's often called this card as well. I mean, if we have a look, it's blue. Sorry, the lighting is, is terrible here. It's blue skies. You know, we can see the river flowing, you know. So it's everything. It, it, it's movement. It's it's things are moving on, but at a really fast pace, you know. Um, we had the Eight of Cups uh, yesterday, and the Eight of Cups, the, the Eights are all about, they're bringing in balance, you know. They're they're sort of, uh, eight bring balance back in. It's a very auspicious number, the eight. It's actually my life path number as well, you know. But it's, if we turn it on its side, it's sort of the infinity symbol, you know. So I always think it's like it is a very spiritual card, this, you know, or, or any eight, really. You know, this card as well is often called, the referred to as the arrows of love as well, you know. Um, but again, with this, it's being, you're being urged to act now, you know, um, so this could be somebody, if you're single, this could be somebody just suddenly arriving into your life, you know, like a bit like a Tasmanian devil and you're like left thinking, whoa, what, what's going on? You know, but it's, it's, I really want you to sort of go for this, if, if that makes sense, you know, um, because it's, 
it's like I feel that if you don't step up to the mark with this, then they could go out as quick as they've came in, you know. So it's like, right, OK, get them and pin them down. Not literally, but, you know, just get them and keep them. Sorry. Um, you know, so like I say, you don't want to let this go and you don't want to let any hesitation or any fears or any doubts sort of stop this. It doesn't necessarily have to be a love interest, you know, but like I say, it is often called the, the arrows of love. Um, and it's sort of, it's just anything that you're presented with over this weekend, you know, I really feel just, just don't think about it, you know? Um, so this energy, like I say, it, it, it can be scary. It can be a little bit wild, you know, but it's, it's go with it. And I really feel like embrace it rather than be scared of it or rather than sort of hide away from it, you know? So it, this card is telling you to live a little bit, you know, forget the rules, forget what might go wrong, you know, and just be carried along on, on the wave sort of thing. I think, you know, that's, that's what I think this, this card is saying, you know, so for Saturday, um, be prepared, you know, for something coming out of the blue, uh, and don't try and fight it. You know, I would just say, go for it and see where where it takes you because I do feel them arrows are just about ready to hit the target and I think when they hit the target you know you will you will know about it you know so wonderful wonderful card with the for Saturday with the eight of wands so now we get on to Sunday and Sunday the 20th of March this one we have a uh, court card a person card now this is the queen of rods you know so we have rods again you know we, we have rods and wands so this is why i was saying there's a real sort of excitement a real um high energy around this this weekend i was listening to another tarot reader uh just earlier and she was saying that something special is going to happen on the 19th and 20th so like i say the energies must be being felt you know by by quite a few of us but again the queen of wands brings in such a wonderful oh this this light is so sorry about that such a wonderful energy with it you know um if she is a woman in your life you know uh or somebody who has captured your attention in some way you know then it's i'm not surprised because the, the Queen of Wands, oh, sorry, the Queen of Wands has such a wonderful, wonderful energy around it. You know, she's she's very independent, but without being rigid as well, you know. Um, she's quite arty, I think, you know, she has charisma. She's vibrant. I mean, if we have a look at the card there, you know, she's she's carrying a sunflower there. And this is basically, you know, she is a bit like sunshine. You know, that's how I could describe the, the Queen of Rods. You know, she's like sunshine. She comes into your life and she brightens it up, you know. Um, so your, your life's just, just brighter with, with her around, I think. You know, um, she's a very, very spiritual card as well. I always feel that the, the Queen of Wands is very spiritual. She's like, you know, when you see these old floaty hippies and stuff like that moving about and they've just got this something about her you know and that's what this this queen of wands has and it's like um i don't know she can she can make you see beauty in in simple things you know she can be a little bit extroverted at times i think as well you know but it's because she makes her own room rules she like she dances to the beat of her own drum you know and she's not swayed by the flock or anything like that, you know? Um, and I really feel this is because she recognizes her own power and she recognizes the power of self as well, you know, of herself and of everybody else. And because she's done that, it's not like she's put herself on a pedestal. It's not like she's, you know, sort of cocksure. Sorry if that's that's not the word. That was just what they give me there. But it's it's not like she's like that. She's just happy in her own skin. And I really feel this rubs off on, on other people. You know, we spoke the other day about being authentic. And when you are authentic, you give other people permission to be the same. And I really feel this is why so many people like to be around the Queen of Wands energy. You know, um, it, it's like, it, it's sort of like moths to a flame sometimes, I think, as well, you know, because 
like I say, people just like being around her. They go away and they, they feel some of the excitement and the passion that she feels for life as well. You know, I mean, like I say, she makes her own rules, but she would never do this at the cost of anyone else, you know. Um, she has a very large circle of friends. So I feel if this, if the Queen of Wands is your friend, you know, she will probably be the best one that you have. She will be there at the drop of the hat. If you need her, she'll be there to allow you to have fun. She'll be there to cheer you up if you're sad. You know, it's like she sort of instinctively knows when when something is wrong as well. You know, so if you hug the Queen of Wands for maybe two seconds longer than you thought or that was needed, she will guess that something's up, you know. Um, she's quite... She's wild, but she's tame. I, I, I don't know how to describe that, you know, and I, I think this wildness, it's not that she's wild and crazy, but it's like, like I say, she dances to the beat of her own drum, you know, she she does what feels right for her, you know, it's it's just, it's it's whatever she feels she, she lets out, you know, and she lets that guide her as well, you know, um, so she trusts her connection with people, she trusts her intuition, you know, and she trusts in the universe and she knows that the universe is her friend and is guiding her all of the way as well, you know. She's quite, although she has this wildness and this vibrant extrovert, she is very gentle as well, you know, so she has a very, very gentle heart, you know. She's very honest as well and very, very loyal, you know, that is that is one thing with the Queen of Wands. I mean, if the Queen of Wands is somebody who is your partner or a potential partner, sometimes people can get a little bit scared because it's like, oh God, I, I couldn't deal with that energy and that many people being around her, you know? But the thing is, if the Queen of Wands or Queen of Rods chooses you and gives you her heart, then, you know, it doesn't matter who comes around her, you know? You you are the you are the focus of her life, you know? And she brings positivity wherever she goes. It's like it's like she sprinkles fairy dust or glitter or something like that around her, you know. But she she makes people smile just by being being around her, you know. Um, but like I say, she's you know, she's she's a caregiver, she gives love, she gives security, she gives assurance, you know, and she will she will want you to be the person that she knows you can be. She will see and notice, like I say, she's very intuitive, but she will see and notice little qualities of yourself and she will focus on the good ones and she will want you to see yourself sort of in the way that she does and through her eyes. So she really gives a strong belief in yourself as well, you know, um, and like I say, she's just, it, it's ideas, she's spontaneous, you know, she, she thrives on positivity you know, and she sort of teaches you not to sweat the small stuff. I mean, she would never try and control you and tell you what to do, but by watching how she goes about things, you know, this is when people sort of learn quite a lot from her, you know? So I really feel, and she's coming in Sunday, I think, Sunday, so this it's this weekend. There's all this crazy energy, you know, but all wonderful as well, you know? If this isn't a person in your life, then I really feel what this is saying is try to be more like the Queen of Wands, you know, whether you're male, whether you're female, you know, try and just sort of, try and just be and just be free, even if it's just for the weekend, you know, and see how, how much better that feels, you know, don't allow any negative thoughts in, you know, grasp life and sort of really live this weekend, you know, and, and just, I don't know, like, like be sunshine. What you'll do is when you are being happy and when you are feeling free, you will realize that you start to shine and you shine brighter. And this is what, you know, the, the, the queen of wands is, is she shines that that's what she does, you know? So this weekend, I would say, try and think outside the box you know, um, take some of the Queen's energy, take some of this wonderful Rod's energy with you this weekend, because it is fabulous. I mean, like I say, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited for this, you know, and just look at things differently, you know, look at things that you don't normally notice, you know, um, 
look on the bright side of everything. Whatever happens this weekend, I really feel it's more of an opportunity than a hindrance. So don't allow any fear in or anything like that, you know, and just be be positive, believe in yourself, believe in the universe and get ready for this this crazy excitement that's coming in, you know, because it seems fabulous. I'm actually really looking forward to the weekend now that, that, that I've, I've pulled them. So I hope you like them. Uh, I'll be back on Monday. Like I say, I'm going to I'm going to post these now, but I'll be back on Monday with the card of today. And then I might have a little bit something different on Tuesday. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this yet, but you know, there is something in the pipeline for, for Tuesday that might be a little bit different. So please let me know um, if you like those cards. Please let me know what happens this weekend as well, because I'm dying to hear everybody's stories, you know, because this energy is just it's pretty great, you know. Um, so like I say, leave me a comment on YouTube, on Facebook, whatever. You know, you know, I love hearing from you. Um, if anybody wants to book a reading as well, I do have availability over the weekend. Um, I'm away for a couple of days next week. So um, I th that's going to make it a little bit short and obviously with us having Easter weekend as well. So if anybody's wanting to read them, I can do them on phone, on Skype. There's no in-person ones uh, available at the moment. So sorry about that. But please just let me know and I would love to connect with you and love to be able to read for you. OK, so have a fabulous, fabulous weekend. It just all went dark. It was like, right, OK, shut up now, Tanya. But have a fabulous, fabulous weekend. And I'll be back on Monday to hear all of your stories. OK, Satnam.